$50 if you could tell me one Bible verse. Can you think of one? What do you $50 if you could tell me one Bible verse? Think of one? Um, no. No? You want to finish it? That, I mean, that's as far as I'm going to go, but... Can't finish it. I'm just saying. I'll give you $50 if you could tell me one Bible verse. Nothing. Can't think of one? I'll give you $50 if you could tell me one Bible verse. Can you think of one? Nothing. Hey, I'll give you $50 if you could tell me one Bible verse. Wow. $50 on the line. It's all yours. Can't think of one? No. Nope. What do you $50 if you could tell me one Bible verse? Uh, I can name the books of the Bible. Are you able to name a Bible verse? Mm-hmm. No. It's been a long time. It's always good to get into the Word, huh? Yeah. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokal Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. Okay, so. As you've seen in that YouTube short, there was a man that was given $50 for a Bible verse. And as you've seen, where our society is at, you know, nobody can really uh, quote a scripture. You know, and the majority were Edomites, but he did ask two Jake women, you know. The first Edomite lady walked by and gave him a mean mug. You know, the second two ladies uh, were Judite women. Okay, the first lady, she asked a little boy like he knew. Okay, the second uh, quoted John 3, 16. Okay, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And stopped there. Okay, which she had no understanding about that. He asked, are you going to finish it? And she said, that's as far as I want to go. Okay. And she ended with I'm just saying, right? That 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 was that was her attitude. Okay, the third lady said no thank you. The fourth straight up said no. The fifth was a man and a woman. And they were Edomites, they both said no. The sixth said she knew the books of the Bible, but that it had been a long time. So with people you know, if people share the same attitude, you know, our society is doomed. And that's why society is the way that it is, because no one governs himself by the words of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai, okay, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay, that doctrine of God and Jesus Christ, you know, teaches people that they can believe in, uh, you know, whatever they want, that they can come as is, that they don't have to put forth works okay to be saved you know and you know people nowadays you know take bits and pieces of, of the bible and, and, and you know believe that they have a, a free will you know they believe you know all, a myriad of things that really is going to bring them destruction okay but nonetheless that's that's the uh the mindset Okay, of the people here in America, you know, they're very indifferent about what's written in the book. Okay, all they, uh, all they know is that uh, God loves everybody, you know, which is far from the truth. Okay, and you know, to put it quite, you know, frankly, you know, a lot of people, you know, they they don't know the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of the Most High. I speak this to your shame. So it's a shame. Okay. Grown ass man, grown ass woman. Okay. And, and, and you don't know the knowledge of the Most High. Okay. You, you're not awake. You people are asleep. Okay. You, you have to awake to righteousness and sin not. You know, you have to want to be a better person, you know, not just uh, put it off for tomorrow, which is what a lot of people do. They, they teach that, 
in the church system, they teach that, um, oh, when he's ready, he'll he'll come. We're going to pray for him. And But you know what? The scriptures say, tarry not to turn to the Lord. Okay, that's why that's why you have to be in the word uh, constantly, you know, because, um, you know, this flesh is weak. Okay, and you need every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You see, but the God, uh, the world knows God in Jesus Christ. And that doctrine is very. Uh, it's very uh, um, destructive. You see, because it caters to emotions. It doesn't cater to truth. Okay. So some people are sinning, right? Because they don't even teach about the law. They teach half the book. Okay. So they're they're basically asleep. Okay, and we and we speak this to your shame. It's a shame that you can go to a store and ask people, you know, if they if they can recite a Bible verse and they can't. You know, and we've actually done that on the highways and hedges. We've actually asked people, hey, uh, do you know the story of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah? A lot of people said no. You know, further showing you that this place is doomed. All right. This is Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed. And if you noticed, a lot of those people, although they were caught off guard, you know, they had like a look of disgust, especially that first lady. The first lady seemed to just have a mean mug. She just walked right past them. All right. With, you know, and I know they're Edomites, but that this is how society is in general. Our people are the same. Well, you saw the two Judai women. Okay. The first one asked the little boy. The second one uh, said, uh, quoted half of John 3, 16 and said, that's as far as I want to go. You know. So our people are ashamed. They're indifferent. Okay. They don't got time. They're too cool. They don't want to be square. So on and so forth. All right. But this is what the scriptures say. Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed. So the son of man. Okay. Whom you call Jesus Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai because he is the God of, of, of the Hebrews. Right, the Israelites is going to be ashamed of you, okay? Because the scriptures uh, uh, speak against adultery and and sinning, okay? So you got to cater your life to Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, not uh, you know, not the other way around. You see, it says when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. So you gonna see the father and the angels and you're going to be ashamed okay because when the lord called you 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 refused and you got a lot of people like that you know what i mean and we cannot be like that we have to be uh you know constant steadfast faithful this is uh, romans 1 and 16 for i am not ashamed of the gospel of hamashiach for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. You see? It's the Apostle Paul speaking to the church at Rome. And he said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach and neither are we. For it is the power of the Most High unto salvation. You see? There's power in this word. Okay? The scriptures say... Uh, 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 you know, you, you basically, uh, roughly paraphrasing, if you teach this word, all right, uh, and, and to others, you know, you could be saved. Roughly paraphrasing in Timothy, for it is for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Okay, and this is speaking about uh, when it says Greek here, it's talking about. Uh, Israelites that are in that, uh, you know, they're really uh, in the customs of the Greeks. And in this case, it would be what? You know, the customs of the Edomites. Right. In that time, you had Israelites that made, made their life... Um, 
you know, according to the life of the Greeks. All right, it's not talking about Greeks as in Edomites, no. You see? And, and the Lord's going to have compassion on, on, on those that are, they come into the truth and understand the, the Bible and what it says. Okay? It is salvation to everyone that believeth, man. You can't be ashamed. You know, the scriptures say, uh, uh, be ready to give an answer. If someone, uh, you know, asks you of, 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 you know, let me see if I can get that. Uh, let's see. First Peter 3 and 15. It says, but sanctify the Lord power in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You see? So you, you keep this word holy, man, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you for a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So anyone that, you know, comes to you and asks you, why do you have hope, okay, in, in the Israelite thing, okay, well, with all meekness and fear, you tell them, okay, at the drop of a hat, you see, you're supposed to always be, be ready to give an answer, you see, a lot of these people were ashamed, Okay, and, and and I know they're Edomites, but this this is a, a, a you know, uh, you, you know, you could compare this to other people, you know, that that are that are Israelites. Okay, so, and you're gonna have a lot of people that are gonna come in in these last days, man. You know, scriptures say some are gonna come in at the last hour. This this word is growing exponentially. You know, some people they're they're gonna come out of that Gentile state. They're going to look, you know, through, but the Lord's going to have mercy upon them. Okay? So it's not only salvation to the Jew first, but also to the Greek. You see? The Lord is going to bring in people from all over. Okay? And, and, and you know, and we look at them as, as like, hey, look, look, those are Greeks, you know, because we live the life of the Jews, you know, so to speak, by, you know, uh, Rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, we got the day of atonement coming up, but but you know, our you know, there's there's people that are gonna come in um at the last moment, man. That's why we have to do the work. You know, that's why we have to uh to edify. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this. This is John 5 and 39. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. So that's 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 what you uh that's what you know my frame you have to be in, searching the scriptures, man, daily. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. Alright, it's 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 not a mystery. Okay. When you when you hear about uh the Bible, the Bible speaks about the most high and and the record of his son, okay. And and it speaks about what salvation, you know. It also speaks about a, a, a great judgment's coming. Okay. It speaks about eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, which is who how is shy. So why would you not want to search the scripture, seeing that you know it speaks about eternal life. You know, but you got a lot of people that are indifferent. You know. They just don't care. It's not it's not on their you know priority. You know. This is uh Second Timothy one and eight. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Okay? Yeah, you cannot be ashamed of the testimony, man. Let's give this word testimony. Strong's G, 3142, Marturian. Marturian. And let's read it here in the Strong's definition. It says something evidential, okay? So be not ashamed of what's evident. You know, okay? what's, what's evident is that we're the Israelites, man, okay? And our enemy has had us in captivity, 
Okay, all these nations have had us in captivity. Okay, we've lost our identity, but now the Lord is putting the spirit upon all flesh and, and, and you're seeing, uh, you know, men starting off with the men, you know, also women and children that are naming themselves Israel, speaking the Hebrew, going out to highways and hedges, making videos. That's some, that's evident. Okay, we, you cannot be ashamed of that. All right. It's not for everyone, but, you know, the spirit has it, you know, that all, you know, um, you, you might have to give a testimony, you know, the Lord might put the spirit on you to tell somebody. Okay. We're telling people anyway, but, but, you know, with, with, you know, obviously, you know, with, with season, right. In season, you know, cause it's where it's, it really is not for everybody. Okay, but the spirit will be on you at times, right? What does it say here? Evidence given, or especially the Decalogue in the sacred terminal. It says down here to be testified, testimony, witness. A witness gives a testimony of what he's seen and what he has heard. Okay, and we walk by faith. Okay, we didn't, we haven't seen, you know. And heard all the things our, our, our forefathers had, but yet we still believe, okay, in this word. So be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor me of his prisoner, but be thou part, but be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. Okay, yeah, you got to be a partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. Okay, uh, there's a lot of things you're going to go through. Okay, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be left and rights. Okay, and, and that's all according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It's an evident token, okay, that you must suffer for the kingdom of the Most High. A lot of people don't want to suffer. They want to be put on blast. They don't want to, uh, um, you know, hold this truth in a wicked world. You know, a lot of people don't want to be accountable or, or repent or say that they are wrong. And a lot of people come into the truth for, you know, many different reasons. You know, we have to be sincere, you know. We have to be... Um, honest, okay, as, uh, you know, this is the place of judgment. Yahweh Bashem Yahshai's eyes are on us on this earth, okay? He knows what we do, right? So, yeah. One of the things that you're going to suffer is persecution for the word. All that live godly shall suffer persecution. It tells you that in the book of Timothy. You see? All right, people, people, uh, uh, you know, noticing who you are, you know, either at work or, or you know, you, you, you know, you're, you're one of the Hebrews, you're one of them Hebrew guys, whatever the case, you know, you might catch hell for it, but that, that's all right, because, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, our forefathers caught hell. Hey, they were put to death. You know, they, they went through uh, excruciating uh, pain, and, and, and you know, for the word. So the point is, you can't be ashamed of your testimony, you know. We're all testifying. And as you saw in the video, some people were ashamed, you know. Some, you know, they, they didn't want nothing to do with Yahweh Well, Yahweh Shai ain't going to have... Ain't gonna want nothing to do with you in that day. How about that? You see? Let's get this last scripture and then I'm gonna end it out. This is first Peter. Let's start at 13. First Peter 4 and 13. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yeah. Yeah, partaker of Hamashiach's sufferings. You know, you, you being a true believer of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the truth. You know, you, you're going you're gonna to suffer. Okay? You're going to suffer like he suffered. Okay? Because, you know, you, you are like Yahweh Shai in the world. Okay, but when he is revealed, a hey, you, you know, a hey, you, it's gonna be a rejoicing moment because you're gonna receive what Yahweh Shai received. 
You know, the Lord said, when he comes, shall he find faith on the earth? You're going to be a joint heir. Okay. You know, how was I, you know, getting his, you know, glory first and foremost. Okay. But the elect are going to receive crowns, you know. It says, if ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. Let's look at this word reproach real quick. Strong's G, 3679, Anidizo. Anidizo. To reproach, abrade, revile of deserved reproach, of undeserved reproach, to revile, to abrade, cast favors received in one's teeth. Down here in Strong, it says, to defame. Rail at, chide, taunt. Okay. Basically defamed. If ye be re uh, reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of the Most High resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. You see? So, you know. If you are defamed for believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, hey, happy are ye. Okay, people are going to speak evil about him. But on your part, you know, he is glorified. And which carry, what carries more weight? Believing in the, in, in the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, or believing, okay, you know, in what people think about you, okay, or what man might, might perceive of the doctrine. You see? So, $50 for a Bible verse. And you can see this on um, this guy, Zachary M. Pelissiri's you know, YouTube short. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rokah Kodash. Double honors the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.